We're joined today by Brian Lee Crowley from the McDonald Law Institute. And Brian, today we're going to talk about Wednesday, which we have a Liberal caucus meeting, and we have been watching this slow motion Liberal caucus revolt since June, actually, since the St. Paul's by election. Um, do you think, let's take some of these Liberal MPs, we think there might be a couple of dozen. Do you think they're right? Do you think the best thing for the party right now is for Trudeau to go? Well, if I was looking at it from the point of view, if I were a backbencher, uh, I would want Trudeau to go because it's very clear that uh, it's his leadership that is being questioned so, so profoundly in the polls. Uh, would it be the best thing for the party? I, I don't know, because that, the, the, the question then becomes, would someone else do a better job for the party if yeah. he went? And I, I think they have invested now so much in Trudeau's brand and he is so identified as the leader of the party that uh, I, I, I find it hard to imagine someone who would be able to step in and change the image of the party sufficiently in the time that he's got left before the next election yeah. uh, to really change the outcome at all. And remember what the, what, what the uh, members of the caucus are unhappy about is the fact that they're looking at the polls and they're saying, I'm going to lose my job. Yeah. Uh, and so the question for, for the Liberal Party more generally is, who's going to save the furniture, uh, um, or are we better to go with the devil we know? Yeah, I think there's some people thinking about Kim Campbell coming in and then uh, well, you know, pure it's destruction. A, it, I was thinking about that exact example because it seems to me that uh, had Mulroney stayed on, I mean, he left because he was unpopular and the polls were saying it was time for him to go, but had he stayed on, I'm pretty confident that he would have won hundred seats yeah uh, which is a little better than two yes <laughs> well <laughs> here's the other question though we have some of these candidates you know Mark Carney's been mentioned Christia Freeland the finance minister uh, Philip Francois Champagne has been mentioned who of these people would actually want this job at this point it seems to me like the better option is to come in after the next election when you know maybe you can rebuild well this is exactly one of the calculuses that must be going on in the minds of uh, any credible uh, replacement for Trudeau is mm -hmm. do I want this poison chalice? Now it's true that people in politics tend to, uh, tend to have a very healthy ego and so many of them will be thinking yeah I bet I could do this yeah. but it, if I were betting I'd bet none of them can yeah. uh, uh, and like you my, my guess would be that if they can control their egos and look at this objectively, they would be far better off saying, I'm going to sit this one out and I'm going to come in afterwards and pick up the pieces because I can be pretty confident that uh, I will be able to do better in the following election as leader of the party than uh, the party is going to do in this election. Yeah, and kind of zooming out here, uh, I do wonder also, we know there's a Trudeau problem. Polling shows us that his personal approvals are down. Um, but we also have a situation where liberal parties across the country are not doing well either in the provinces. Um, do you think there might be a existential problem with the liberal brand here that they might not recover from? Or do you think that once Trudeau's gone, it's clean sailing after that? Well, I don't know about clean sailing. I mean, I think it will take some time for the liberal brand to recover. But, uh, you know, there, there was some uh, speculation after uh, Harper won his majority uh, uh, in 2011, I think it was, that uh, you know, maybe the Liberal Party was on the way out and uh, remember that the, the NDP had formed the official opposition. Yeah. And the, the Liberal Party has many lives. It's uh, a, a, a cat only has nine. The Liberal Party seems to have many. Yeah. And um, I, I would not be prepared to count the Liberal Party out, especially if uh, I, I think a, a leader emerged who could bring the Liberal Party back to its traditional brokerage politics, middle of the road, we take a little from the left, a little from the right, uh, uh, and uh, we present a moderate face to Canadians under the world. That, that, that's, that's not been, I think it's fair to say, the record of, uh, of Justin Trudeau. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think the, the liberal brand is one, the traditional liberal brand is one that's attractive to Canadians, and I think uh, a, a skillful leader would be able to revive that. I, I'm, I'm never one to count out the Liberal Party. Okay, well, we have a big Cox meeting on Wednesday. These Liberal MPs have promised they will confront Trudeau, so we'll see. It's been a weak revolt so far, um, but Brian, thanks for coming and helping us out with this. Pleasure. And thanks for watching.